Hey there, how's it going everyone? Just want to share with you a quick tip on how I go about protecting my young seedlings, whether I'm transplanting out into the garden or if I'm direct sowing my seeds. Most of you out there already know that the biggest threat right off the bat is going to be the wildlife coming in, the birds, sometimes the squirrels, and they'll make quick work out of your young plants and sprouts coming up. And you know, it's quite heartbreaking when you've done the work and you're starting to see results and then you walk out there the next day and everything's gone. Also, if you're like me and you got backyard chickens and you let them wander around, they'll make quick work out of your smaller plants. So a few years back, what I ended up doing is building a bunch of these cages. I've got about 25 of them. And what I do when they're not in use is I just line them up against the fence line, get them out of the way. But as soon as I need them, they're there. It's great to have these on hand. They do a great job. They've been highly effective, keeping my young plants protected. And as soon as the plant gets you know, a bit more mature, then it's safe. So the way I built these was by using some concrete reinforcement wire and then I wrap them in chicken wire. Not all my cages have the chicken wire around them, but by far the chicken wire is most effective. It keeps both the birds and the chickens from being able to stick their head in there and nibble at the greenery. So the concrete reinforcement wire is the same product I use to build all my tomato cages. So you can buy this stuff in a 100 foot roll. It's five feet tall and then you can cut them to your liking. What I did is I cut six foot sections and that creates a two foot diameter what's really nice about these for tomato cages is that they got nice big five and a half inch squares that you can stick your hand right in easily harvest your tomatoes it's super heavy duty which means a long lifespan i've had these several years they do a great job what i do to secure these is i use t posts and i drive those into the ground and then i just use a little baling wire and wire that up to the t post it works great so initially I got the idea for the tomato cages by a fellow YouTuber by the name of Web Cajun. And uh, he's got a tutorial on his channel showing how he put them together. So I'll put a link below this video so you can check that out if you're interested. So that's it guys, just wanted to share that with you. But I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care everybody, I'll be talking to you again soon.